I was uh, 30, 30 years old, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 30 years old. Thomas Cup is something uh, uh, different from any team event, whereby before was uh, nine, nine matches in two days, and then this time was uh, five matches in one day. I was virtually camped at the Stadium Negara throughout the entire campaign of the Thomas Cup 92. I was a rookie reporter uh, with Brita Harian, not with the main newspaper, but with the weekly pull-up called Jago. Oh, I was, I was probably in my early 20s. Huh? Uh, I was actually at that time just came out to work. I was a young teacher then. But I remember watching it on TV huh? uh, because basically I, I was a badminton fan. I, I basically crazy about badminton. I always make it a point to catch the, any badminton matches that involve uh, Malaysians. And of course, 92 being the what you call the apex for Malaysian badminton, uh, I wouldn't have missed out uh, that match. Thomas Cup 1992 was uh, very special for me. One is because uh, over 25 years, uh, then only we uh, captured the Thomas Cup champion. <clears throat> when uh, Malaysia finally lifted, lifted the Thomas Cup in uh, it was in May, on May 16, 1992. It was way past midnight. Um, the crowd went jubilant. It was a very historic occasion. We waited for 25 years uh, after the historic win in 1967 in Jakarta to finally lift the cup. And to be part of the celebration, to me, was, uh, was a big honour and a privilege. And of course, I can remember we won the match on... Uh, technically, it was 16 of May. 1992, but the last game ended after midnight. So the final was on the 16th of May. I could remember because it was my birthday then, 16th of May. It was a fantastic feeling. The, a lot of people talk about it. A lot of Malaysians still talk about it. It, it, it is a feeling that we, we are very proud of. And I myself will always remember and cherish that as a Malaysian. Yeah. Preparation for the Thomas Cup, not only uh, six months, one year, and so on. It takes a few years. But somehow or other, we manage uh, in the sense that we have a group of players. You know, that time, my, that time Miss Boon was play, still playing. And then Fu Kok Kyung is still there. And then my youngest brother, Rashid, is still there. And then they have their own, uh, what is called this, uh, international world ranking, uh, by the, uh, I mean, uh, standing. And then I was the, the best four in the world during that time. And then we have another uh, pair, uh, Chia Sung Kit and Su Beng Kiang, whereby they are still coming up, but uh, they, they won certain uh, few major tournaments. So in a way that this Thomas Cup team is a well-balanced team. We have two top single players, and then we have two top uh, doubles players. What I remembered most was when the crowd went wild, right after the weak retrieval from Rexy Mainaki hit the net following uh, Su Beng Kiang's smash. That was the match-winning point that uh, ensured Malaysia the cup. And um, despite um, having the crowd roaring, supporting uh, Indonesia, because I think the migrant workers were there as well, uh, Malaysia lifted the cup. So that was, uh, to me, with the Strangers hugging each other, uh, the whole nation uh, going wild. Uh, to me, it was a very historic occasion and um, purely unforgettable. There are a lot of great moments actually in, in, in the entire tie with uh, Indonesia in the finals, right? The one that I can always remember is when Sun Kid partner Bing Kiang, uh, where they took the winning point and uh, where both of them played tremendously and uh, both of them smashed so well. In fact, one of the smashes was the winning point. So these, these are things that you remember vividly in your brain till today. The intensity of the training is that with uh, about six months before the tournament and then 
of course we know that the tournament will be held in Malaysia so definitely we want to do much much better you know so before that we were runner up uh, uh, one is in uh, Japan in general I think uh, most of the team members namely Rashid, Razif, uh, Jalani, Kok Kiong, Chia Sun Kit, Subeng Kiang, they were the typical Malaysian athletes. Uh, they were, I think, media shy. They were not comfortable being in the spotlight. They would rather let um, action uh, speak on... Uh, I mean, sp action speaks louder than words for them, yeah? Of course, then, uh, I've not joined BM, but from a badminton fan, from an outsider, I could see that this group of players, the 92 players, uh, one thing that is outstanding is definitely their commitment. Uh, they are wanting to win, their desire to win. Huh? I think the, that is very much embedded in them, that's one. And two, I think uh, the teamwork is just tremendous. So we were gathered together and then our president, Tan Sri Elas, was very, very kind and very supportive. And the training was very intense in the sense that uh, we train every day including uh, except on Sunday. Sunday is a rest day. Uh, the rest, and then uh, Thursday is a half day, something like that. But uh, the intensity was very great. In the sense that we will fight within each other, and then we will help within each other, and then we will always uh, encourage among us, you know, so, so much so that we want to win. Basically, this team was uh, nurtured by both Tan Sri Elias Omar as the president of BAM and um, Datuk Punch Gunalan, the late Datuk Punch Gunalan, as the secretary, secretary of BAM, as well as the team manager and chief coach of that 1992 squad. And uh, when they decided to hire uh, foreign coaches, uh, namely Han Jian, Yang Yang, Chen Changji, um, to me that was the master stroke. This began uh, in 1988 when BAM brought Fang Kai Xiang uh, from China. He was an Indonesian born Chinese uh, to take care of the squad. And I guess um, winning the cup in 92 was the culmination of a great plan, great formula, uh, which, started, uh, which uh, started way back uh, maybe five years earlier. Uh, we have uh, four coaches. Uh, two, three from China. We have Yang Yang, we have Han Jian, we have uh, Cheng Chen Ji, and then we have Sufyan Abu Bakar, and then the chief coach was uh, Datuk Pan Kunalan. So uh, we went a uh, few uh, uh, training camp. There was one in Genting, and then we went for uh, Camp Banner Semangat in uh, PD. It's just this preparation for, just for the uh, Thomas Cup. You could see that they were all working as a unit uh, before the match and after the match. Uh, how they motivate each other, how they work with each other, how they encourage each other. And, uh, and today they are all my friends. And what I felt 20 years ago and what I could see them today uh, just confirm what I felt about them 20 years ago. Uh, we heard a lot of rumours saying that if you win Thomas Cup this year, that you will receive this award, that kind of award, you know. So, so okay lah. I said, you know, but important is we have to win. Lah. But we always, always encourage among, among our players, we always encourage each other in the sense that, you know, uh, if one of the players lazy or, I mean, not serious in training, you know, or, laughing so we told them no this time this time around we cannot laugh we, we must be serious and we must be focused you know it was very important because this is the only year that we have a chance to win Thomas Cup after this we don't know what's going to happen you know by the time probably I'm going to retire and so on and then for Kok Kiong we're not sure but we we our 
team was uh, for sure we have two singles, you know, and then we have two doubles. Uh, if you go one by one, uh, let's say Rashid is uh, very media shy, economical, economical with words um, and would rather be playing rather than talking to the media. The most approachable uh, personality in that team was definitely Jalani Sidi, uh, fondly called Jack. Uh, he was uh, vocal, uh, was not afraid to express his opinion, uh, was also highly critical of uh, the Federation, the BAM. Uh, on occasions and um, very friendly to the media. If we were to get uh, the best quotes, then we would approach uh, Jalani uh, for comments. Uh, Su Beng Kiang was the opposite of uh, Sun Kit. Su Beng Kiang was also media shy. Uh, Sun Kit was a moody player and also moody to the press. Uh, on uh, a few occasions, he would uh, walk away from the press or on uh, better days. He would be freely talking to us. And uh, to me, Fu Kok Kiong was also uh, the unsung hero of the team. I remember Kok Kiong punch punching the air with joy uh, right after beating Alan Budi Kusma for that crucial uh, second point after Rashid Siddiq had set the tone by beating Ardi Wiranata in the final. I was selected as a captain because I'm the most uh, senior players, you know, and then. Uh, beside that, probably uh, I can manage some some players because you see uh, some players are very difficult to take care of in the sense that no, I mean not saying that I'm taking care of them. No, saying that they have some differences, you know, especially doubles. I was second doubles, Cha Sukit and So and you know, sometimes you know. So I become the middleman. You know, so any problem, the chief coach will ask me, Azif, can you do this one? Can you do this one? So, okay, no problem. I said, you know, I volunteer myself. This one, small matter lah. You know, important now, we want to win. So, so much so, uh, I'm very proud to be, uh, to be selected as a team captain, you know. But I don't feel any pressure. Honestly, I don't feel any pressure because everybody was uh, was uh, really in a in a mood of doing their best to achieve something that they never dream of, you know. And somehow or other, we managed to group together, help each other. This is very important, you know, and to fight for our country because this is really real team event. So we we cannot. Uh, say that oh this guy is some, uh, not communicating no we have to throw all these differences and be uh, in one group uh, today um, if you talk to any one of them you can see that they are all very passionate about the sports despite retired uh, from the sport Rashid Siddiq is with us he's the chief coach for our singles department um, he is one person you can sit down and talk for hours about badminton. Um, he's constantly thinking of ways how uh, to improve the, the, the players in terms of his area, the singles department. He's constantly looking at how to, re to find another world-class player like Lee Chong Wei. Uh, yes, definitely he's, he's committed and his love for the sport second to none. We talk about Rashid Sidi. Rashid Sidi is more very the manja sikit lah, you know. Everything uh, is always be uh, he he would like to uh, do something like he will refer to you know, especially my younger brother Jalani because he's very much closer to to them and uh, uh, Jalani and Rahman and then but he is a very nice. Very nice boy, you know. He love uh, music, you know. So during his, uh, if he 
that time during that time you got this this uh, car that fully loaded with sp good speakers and so on you know but he's very nice and says that he uh, very well disciplined and very punctual and very hard working and then we talk about uh, Cha Sung Kit and Sung Bae Kyung they have two different uh, two different uh, how to say uh? Sung Kit is very hot tempered you know but I like him when he's uh, angry, you know. Then, then only he can can perform, you know. He he just do what he he think is the best for the team, you know. For the, make sure he he will win, you know. As long as you don't disturb him, uh, in the sense that you don't talk bad or from uh, at the back of you no know, problem. So Su so Ben Kiang is very. I mean, physically is not. Uh, he's not uh, really strong as uh, all of us, but he's very hardworking, you know. And then he's um, is mentally uh, is very very strong because he's some uh, he got some this uh, education education background. During that time, he's still studying, you know. But he somehow rather he managed to to I mean to be in the squad, you know. And then uh, be ready for this Thomas Cup. Jelani, Jack, we, are, <laughs> we call him Jack, you know, because uh, he's very talkative, you know, he's very approachable, he likes to talk. <laughs> uh, Fu Kok Kyung is uh, there, he's like his uh, follower. Whatever Rashid <laughs> does, he will follow. If Rashid buys something good t shirt, sometimes he will also buy. You know, he, he he's a follower. You know, so he's, he he doesn't stand by himself. You know, but he's he's, he's harmless, lah. Things change, okay? Um, of course, uh, a lot of things, players today and players those days, there are a lot of difference. The sports has become bigger now, okay? Uh, the money is bigger now. There are more tournaments compared to those days. Uh, maybe 92 was just the start where Olympic were, uh, in badminton were included into the Olympics. Before that, there were, there were no uh, badminton in Olympics, so that have changed, right? Now players can so-called make more money in the sports, okay, which is also good for the sports. The way the sport is being played is different. It's much faster now. You are talking about power and speed. The racket have changed. Uh, there are more R and D research being done on the rackets, but. Uh, some things remain unchanged is that players must remain to be committed to the sports. Okay? Player must remain to be professional about now the sport is their livelihood. It's like a job, an occupation to them. They have to be like any professionals. They have to be committed to their job. They have to be committed as a player. They must have discipline. I think that, that value has never changed 10, 15 years. You, if you are a player 15 years ago, you have to be disciplined. If you are a player today, you have to be as disciplined as well. The closest we came to the, again, of lifting the title was in 2002 when we lost to Indonesia by a very slim margin, 3-2. And I think... Uh, BAM has managed to produce a large pool of talent, but not, the, not players who are able to work as a team. They have managed to produce individuals, the likes of uh, Lee Chong Wei, uh, Yong Hock Kin, Ong Yu Ho throughout the years. Uh, but when it comes to lifting the cup, the cup has become a symbol. It is the, the uh, I mean, is the version is is the badminton version of the Davis Cup. The tennis is a, the World Cup, the World Championship. Uh, we won the cup in 1949 in Preston, England. So it, it has become a huge symbol for Malaysia. 
and for Malaysian badminton. And the fact that we've won only, I think, less than five times, um, it reflects the not, not only the failure to develop and to plan properly, but also we have to give due credit to China for not only being the innovators of the game, but they've been maintaining their performance. They have churned out a large pool of uh, talent and a never-ending supply of talent throughout the years. And uh, to me, BAM has to go back to the drawing board. So we have very balanced team during that time. And then I don't think we can get this kind of team uh, nowadays. We cannot because we are so dedicated. We are so I mean we are so cooperative that we want to we want to win. We want to show that we can win. You know, win and everything we can win is very very important. So we are very cooperative. It's like our family. You know. Are very important nowadays i can see i don't i cannot see this kind of thing happening you know uh, mostly they are always after the game after the matches or after training they will go on their own you know uh, but we don't we always group together i think um first of all we have to realize that uh, thomas cup is a team event when uh, you're talking about team event, you're talking about easily you need about seven good players, uh, both in the singles and doubles. I think our program uh, since uh, Olympic, since wanting to chase the, the, gold, the elusive gold medal in Olympics, which is an individual event, I think uh, we have placed slightly more emphasis on the individual event rather than the team event. Uh, I think the commitment by BM has never wavered. The passion for the sport has never wavered as well. Only thing is probably now we need to retweak our program, perhaps, and to place slightly more focus on a team event. On the team event, maybe we need to identify more, uh, maybe more players, maybe ten good players, and train them. Hopefully, train them simultaneously for both individual event and for team event. So I think that, would, that could be the way to more or less uh, solve our problem in winning both the Thomas Cup and the elusive gold medal in the Olympics.